welcome to Wednesday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic, where today we're ducking back into the Sudoku archives for a puzzle that I don't know how we missed it, but we, we should have done this years ago. It's called Secrets and Lies, and it's by Star Warigami. I've read, I've read the preamble, and I love the preamble, um, and I'm fairly astonished by the grid, which you can see has a lot of lines in it. In fact, it is totally covered by lines. Um, this has a 100% approval rating on Logic Masters Germany. Five stars out of five for difficulty, so it's probably not very easy. Um, but there's a quote uh, from somebody called O.G. Russ Hood, who wrote the following about this puzzle. Uh, not a day goes by where I'm not amazed at the world of Sudoku. I can never stop myself asking in puzzles like this, how can this have a logical and unique solution? And then I actually work through the puzzle and I blow my own mind. So we are going to try and blow our own minds by having a go at this Star Origami puzzle in a moment, which includes something called an anti-factor line. I will reveal what that is in a moment, but I don't think I've ever seen one in a Sudoku before. Um, and yeah, I think that this puzzle was originally published in November 2021, so it is quite old. Um, uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. And thanks to those of you who recommended to us, uh, recommended it to us recently. It's obviously getting some attention um, and some much needed love. Um, now, what do I want to talk to you about today? Well, let me start by saying uh, it is the closing date um, for our uh, Lines and Shapes Sudoku Hunt competition, which has been running since the start of September on Patreon, with, of course, the chance to win some new merch. Uh, there, the, the CTC cap replete with um, our logo there at the top of it. So do get your entries in soon. We, we tend to be a little bit generous with things like time zones on the closing date, but you really haven't got long now if you do want to enter. And then next month's Sudoku Hunt, which is still, I suppose, 10 days away, is going to be from the Skunk Works, the Trick or Treat 6x6 six six expedition, um, which, yeah, we're, we're looking forward to mightily, let me tell you. Um, then I want to give a shout out to Claire. Now, Claire, thank you very much for writing such a lovely email to us. Um, basically, Claire wrote that our videos have helped her deal with insomnia and with a lovely expression, human malware. <laughs> um, and Claire's been watching since the start of the pandemic, early 2020, and has missed less than five videos since. Now that, that really is an incredible watching record. So Claire, thank you for the email and thank you for watching for so long and so many times. Um, other than that, I've got a, I have got a few birthdays to do. It's, it's weird the way the birthdays are sort of distributed on the, on the various days of the year. I'm going to start off by wishing little Alexis a very happy birthday. Alexis, I think you've turned three today. Oh, now I said Alexis. I did not say Alexa. I'm sorry that Alexa has so rudely interrupted. Um, but uh, Alexis, um, <laughs> your dad Justin wrote to us and said, um, apparently you've enjoyed my guitar playing. Thank you for enjoying that since you since before you were one. And now whenever the Cracking the Cryptic theme music uh, chimes up, you yell numbers at the screen. Um, and you, But you love chocolate chip cookies so much that they're going to trump the chocolate cake today. And the cookie monster is your best friend. Well, Alexis, I hope you have an absolutely brilliant birthday today. And I hope the cookies are good. Um, next, Amanda. Amanda, well, this, this birthday message comes to you from Jacob, uh, who tells me you turn a redacted age today, um, but, but you will be having plenty of cake. So Amanda, have a brilliant birthday. And then Chris, it's your birthday today. And I know this because no adulting wrote to us. Um, I wanted to send you a big birthday cheer. And apparently you've been a savior in a very difficult situation and they owe you a huge chocolate cake. So Chris, happy birthday. Uh, Innes from Steph, it's Innes, Innes's birthday. And uh, Steph has got you a cake ready and waiting with plenty of icing. So good work on that, Steph, fantastic. And then Logan, it's your birthday. And I know this because your girlfriend Kelsey wrote to us. And Logan's been watching for years, but has just recently introduced Kelsey to the channel. Kelsey, it's really good, honestly. It's really good to tell your friends. Um, and then finally, 
<laughs> Toby, the, the, the original Sudoku dog, has turned eight today. Toby, I don't know if you're listening, um, but, um, but Toby is, of course, Sven's dog. Sven is the programmer we work with. Sven is responsible for this amazing software uh, we play every day. Um, or we play on every day, do check out Sudoku Pad, which is available on in all the normal ways and is our software and is Sven's work. Um, but it's Toby the Sudoku Doc. Now, actually, if I, if I reload the tab here, will we get to see? Yeah. Oh, no, you couldn't quite see, but, but Sven pops up in the top left of the screen and Toby is with Sven. Um, I think, um, and to have I got a picture, actually, I might have. Yeah, there we go. This is Toby's bed. So Sven watches the videos. Sven, are you watching an old video here, or is this an old photograph? Because I've noticed that this puzzle, which which has given me nightmares since, um, Ahout's incredible, mad, inequality Sudoku from years back. Um, but anyway, that's what Sven is watching. And this is Toby's bed here. I can't actually see Toby, but we've already sort of seen Toby. Um, so happy birthday, Toby. Um, and they are the birthdays. Now, do I have anything else to tell you? I don't think I do. So it's my job now to read you the rules of Secrets and Lines, not Secrets and Lies, Secrets and Lines by Star Origami, a great title. And, uh, and I love the, um, well, I, I love this preamble. Get ready. This top secret Sudoku has had all its digits redacted. Every redaction is either a Renban, German Whispers, or Antifactor line. All I can tell you is that row one uses exactly two Renban lines, and every other row, column, and three by three box uses at least two different types of line. Digits along a Renban uh, so then it explains what these lines mean. So digits along a Remban form a set of non-repeating consecutive digits in any order. So if that square there was a one, then we would know that this, and, and it was a Remban line, then this line would contain one, two, three, and four, which could be in any order. Something like that would work. Um, now, consecutive cells along a German Whispers line contain digits which differ by at least five. So if this one was a German Whispers line and this was a one, this would have to be at least a six because it needs to be at least five different from one. And then the line could go something like that. That would be a legitimate way of filling a German Whispers line, I think. Um, don't hold me to that if I just did the maths wrong, but basically make sure consecutive digits along a whisper differ by five at least and you're good to go. Now, this, this, this is the line I'm very unfamiliar with. Digits along an anti-factor line of length n may not be any multiple or factor of n, brackets other than the digit 1, and must sum to a multiple of n. And then it's got an example. So it's e.g. a line of length 4, well that is of length 4, could not contain a 2, 4 or 8, but could contain a 1. Right, I see. So, uh, right, okay. So, one is sort of a, it's a very, um, it's a very basic factor. It's a factor of any number, isn't it? So, what it's saying is you can include a one on any anti-factor line, but any meaningful factor. So, this is a length four line. So, two divides exactly into four. Four divides into itself exactly, and eight is a multiple of four. Um, all of those things are actually, therefore, um, required, if you see what I mean. Also, it has to sum to a multiple of n, though. So hang on, let me just think about that for a moment. So a line, right, so a length, a length four line, well, it couldn't sum to four, could it? A multiple of n. Okay, so it, and it couldn't sum to 8, so it could sum to 12, or 16, or 20, or 24, but not, uh, 20, no, or 28, actually. Okay, although whether those things are possible given the anti-factor constraints, I don't know. Um, what a bizarre thing, I mean, and what a beautiful setup as well. To achieve this sort of setup in a puzzle where, I mean, look, if we take a look at the grid, it is entirely covered with lines in an ambiguous way. I mean, Russ is right, isn't it? We're OG Russ Hood. This is absolutely mind-blowing that this, is, this can exist. 
and be solvable by a human being. Hopefully this human being, but we're about to find out. Do have a go. The way to play is to click the link under the video as usual. I think this could be a long one. Now I get to play. Let's get cracking. Now we were told something about row one, weren't we? So row one uses exactly two Renban lines. Now, hmm, okay. So I do know something about a three cell Renban line. And that is that the digits on it, if you sum them, you will get uh, a number divisible by three. And that's because if you think about the constituents of a Renban line, if we think about um, the middle digit, the middle valued digit along a three cell Renban line and call it X, then we know the other digits on the line are going to be X minus one and X plus one in some order. So if you sum those up, you get three X, which is obviously divisible by three. So we also know from the secret which I only tell my favorite people, but of course, if you're still with me now, you're definitely one of my favorite people. The secret is that any complete row of a Sudoku sums to 45 because the digits one to nine must appear in that row. So 45 is divisible by three. So the two Renban lines, whether wherever they live in row one, um, they're divisible by three in total. So the remaining line, which is either going to be a whispers line or an anti-factor line, is also going to be divisible by three. Now, does that mean it can't be an anti-factor line? <laughs> ah, um, I don't know. Let me just think about that. So an anti-factor line of length three, what are we saying it cannot have on it? It it can't have three, six or nine on it, can it? So it's like a sort of a weird modulo constraint. Um, so it can't have three, six or nine on it. Well, well, hang on, that doesn't work, actually. Forget maths. That just doesn't work. That's weird. That's very, very weird. <laughs> OK, but um, all, all I'm thinking is if if the line, if there is a three cell line in row one that is anti-factor, it can't have the digits three, six or nine. So say it's that one. We're going to have to have colors, aren't we? We'll have, I'll make it blue because I'm just thinking that the anti-factor, sorry, the Renban line is normally purple in Sudoku and um, a German Whispers line is normally green. So I'll use, I'll use purple for Renban, green for Whispers and we'll have blue for anti-factor. So if this was anti-factor, that would mean that we've got to dispose of three, six, and nine elsewhere in the row. So these digits would have to include three, six, and nine, but we both, we know there are two Ren bands in here. So that doesn't work because the nine will have to be a nine, eight, seven Ren band, and then the six will have to be a six, five, four Ren band. And what are we going to do with the three? We can't do it. So this can't work. Um, so, so this row, <laughs> this row is now consisting of two rem bands and a whisper, believe it or not. So that allows me to do that, I think. Well, that's very pretty. Um, right, so what then do we know? So the, right, let's think about the secrets of whispers for a moment. And there are some, um, in fact, I've got, a, I've got a chain bear little video I should share at some point. Um, which talks about the secrets of German whispers, I think. So German whispers lines can't have five on them because uh, if you do put a five on a German whispers line, let's say this was the German whispers line and you put five on it, what are you going to make those digits? They've got to be at least five different from five. So if we go higher, we're going to get to 10, which is not a valid Sudoku digit or higher. And if we go down, we're getting to zero or negative numbers, which are also not valid Sudoku digits. And don't the constructors out there get any ideas in that regard? So that means that, oh, whoopsie. Um, gosh, if you, I don't know if you can hear it on the, on, the, on the microphone, but the wind is howling. The weather has just turned absolutely filthy. Um, Right, anyway, get back in the game, Simon. What are we doing? We're saying, okay, so a ger if this was German Whispers, it couldn't have five on it. Um, also, it would alternate, wouldn't it? Alternate polarity, because if that digit was lower than five, the next digit on the line would have to be higher than five, because it needs to be at least five different. You get this oscillating effect where you get high, low digits. 
but we've got to do that in such a way that we leave well we know one of the well we do know actually we do know now because we know that five can't be on the whispers line wherever that is in row one five is on a renban line what does that mean well well i feel this might be wrong what i'm about to say so i'm just i'm just pausing mouth do not speak until i actually think of this through mouth wants to speak and i haven't thought this through but i uh i feel i feel like that means that the whispers line has to have one and nine on it but that might not be right um because because Yeah, the, the, or is that wrong? Mm, I'm not sure now. Yeah, no, that is right. It is right. Because if you if you try and put an extreme digit on the ren ban, uh, or on either ren ban, so say say we, we tried to put 9 on this ren ban, then that ren ban would be 987. And that cannot work because the whisper in three cells needs a high digit on it and that's always going to have to be six um, and six is monogamous um, and where are you going to put the six along this line you can't put it in the middle six is monogamous in the sense it only has one natural partner on a whispers line and that's one so if, if you put the six here this will be a one and then this digit has no fill because it can't be high which it needs to be but six seven eight and nine have gone if you put the six in the middle it can only partner one so that doesn't work and the same thing is going to work weirdly the other way around isn't it i.e if we have one left off the whisper then the the rem band's going to be one two three that's going to force four onto the whisper and it's going to have the same problem because it's as monogamous as six is uh, four can only go with nine you can't put four in the middle therefore which requires another low digit that's really weird and it's also strange of my brain that it sort of felt that rather um i felt that and i couldn't articulate it until i actually thought thought it through so all right so we now know that wherever that we don't know where the whisper is by the way uh maybe i should think about that but let, let, let's just carry on just um analyzing the numbers that have to work here so that what we know now is that in this row there is a one and a nine on a whisper line somewhere we don't know the whispers here so we, we have to be flexible about that so hmm. one and nine are of opposite polarity so what that means is you can't put the one and the nine there so the middle digit of the whisper is a one or a nine Wow, I've just put two or nine in. Well done. Lost my army. Um, so if this was one, you'd have to put two high digits here, one of which would be nine, and the other would have to be eight, because on the, the ren bands have to all together be capable of being consecutive digits. So let's just think about that. If we put one here and nine here, and then we tried to put seven there, well, what are you going to do with eight from a ren band perspective, which must now be on a ren band line? eight needs to have seven or nine on its line or it can't form a consecutive sequence so what we now learn is that if the central digit on the whisper is a one you have nine and eight which will mean that the ren bands are seven six five and four three two and if on the other hand you put nine in the middle then you're going to have a one two pair on the whisper you're going to have three four five on the ren ban and six seven eight so the five the five digit is always it's always sort of in i think of it as being an extreme digit the five's either going to be in a three four five sequence or in a five six seven sequence um <laughs> And uh, the really, really, really annoying thing here is that I don't actually think we've particularly advanced the solve, have we? Let's just try and internalize what we've just learned and think about something else. We've got a great big line here. Oh, no, no. 
Oh, I didn't see this. Sorry, that's a nine cell line. Um, oh, I should have started. I should have started here. I didn't think about this. Um, so a nine cell line. That could, obviously, if that's a Renban line, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It can't. Oh, hang on. Hang on, could it have a repeated digit on it? Ah, okay. No, we're okay. We're okay. So I, so I for some reason I was thinking a nine cell line couldn't contain a repeated digit, but actually there's nothing in the rules that say that this line has to be have no no repeats, that any line can't have a repeated digit on it. So that could be I was thinking it couldn't be whisper, because it would then have to have a five on it, which we know it can't have. But no, okay. So, I, you know, imagine if those digits are repeated there. I don't know. I still don't know if it could actually be a whisper in practice, but perhaps it could be. I'm not sure. Um, but it's certainly a lot less constrained, and goodness only knows how it would work from an anti factor perspective. How would. It's a nine cell line. So it couldn't have nine, three. Oh, yeah, it could only not have nine or three on it. That's weird. Oh, right. So that's actually, that's very achievable. I'll put nine and three up there in column six. All right, sorry. Uh, that, that line is much less potent than I thought. Let's, let's try the eight cell line then. So the eight cell line, what do we know about that? It, it can't be anti-factor. <laughs> Because there are far too many digits that can't be on it to be. Yeah, if it's an eight cell line, it can't have two, four or eight on it. So where are you going to put two, four or eight in this column? You're going to have to put them all in that cell. So that's not going to work. Right. So this line is also, it's the same. It's, it's, um, oh, right. This, this line is the same. Uh, it, as I mean, as row one, because it's either got to be Renban or Whispers. But don't you have to have a difference in every row and column? Let me go back to the rules. All I can yes, all I can tell you is that row one uses exactly two Renban lines. Yes, and every other row, column, and three by three box uses at least two different types of lines. Right, so whatever this is, this isn't. Now, here's a thought. If this is whispers, that has to be a five, doesn't it? Because you can't put five on a whispers line. And if that's a five, we know <laughs> we know from the work we did on this row that this is an extreme five. So it would either be surrounded by three and four or six and seven. I don't I don't know if that's a problem or not. What about uh, what about if this is a Renban? If this is a Renban, then it's it's eight consecutive digits. So that digit is extreme. So that's one or nine. Right. So this digit is either one, five or nine for sure. Uh, now, hang on. Hang on. I oh, know that's fine, isn't it? But. Well. Yeah, that's that works. In fact, that works perfectly. That's bizarre. So if this is Renban, we know that this is Whisper because the column needs to have different types of line in it. But also the fact that that is a one or a nine is exactly consistent with what we worked out earlier, which is that the green line in row one does have one and nine on it. And indeed, and indeed we worked out in the middle digit had to be a one or a nine. So Oh, <laughs> all we've actually worked out here is nothing, nothing new. Um, that's infuriating. So if this is Renban, this is one or nine. These are both Renban. That this then couldn't be Renban because in box one we've only got two lines. Look, so that line would have to not be Renban. 
But hang on, that line's not Renban, but that line is Renban. Okay, yeah, we could do that fairly straightforwardly, actually. Actually, let me just think about this line for a moment, because that, that, right, I, right, here is something. That line is not an anti-factor line. That is a six-cell line. So that can't have, if that's anti-factor, that can't have two, three, or six on it, which would put two, three, and six here, but there's no way that can be, well, it's clearly not a whisper, and it's not a German whispers line with a one or a nine on it. So that line is also this sort of funny green, green-purple flavor. Um, uh, let me, I'm going to think about this, though, because that feels... Yeah, this doesn't work. Right, we've got it. Yeah, I think I've got it anyway. <laughs> it's it's quite difficult to juggle all these rules in your head. But my my question, the question I'm I'm honing in on, is how is that line a German whispers line? If it's a German whispers line, yeah, it's just not, is it? I mean, it's not because of what we discovered about five earlier. So if it's a German whispers line, it hasn't got five on it. Um, so five is up here, and we know this is a Renban. And we worked out that the five Renban line was either three, four, five, or five, six, seven. And the problem that you have there is that the, the Renban line is consuming too many of one type of digit so that for this to be a whisper line it's going to have to have three low digits on it we don't we wouldn't know we wouldn't know whether this this end line and the end of the line was low or high um, but we would know that those three would be all from the high or the low set depending on what this is so those three would be the same type of digit and these three would be the same type of digit now that means that three lows and three highs are consumed on this line now Actually, what that is telling us is that this would have to be a 456 Renban because it definitely has five on it and it would have to have one low and one high digit in order to sort of balance the German whisper line. And 546, we know, doesn't work on the whisper. Um, sorry, 546 doesn't work on the Renban because by the time we've put one nine and a two or an eight on the on the on the on the whisper line in row one we're left with a non-consecutive sequence on the other remember line. this is mind-blowingly complicated but that doesn't work so this line is not whisperable which means that line is renban which means this line right let's get rid of that five because that's not right that's got this is this is the whisper so these are all Renban. Um, re yeah, that's great. Because now this line has to not be Renban. So that's got to be Whisper, which means that digit is a five. Um, because you can't put five in the column. We have a digit in the puzzle. We, I still need to think about this line. Let me just, I know it's got one and nine on it. I know that squares are one and nine from what we did earlier. Um, now, how do we do this then? So this sequence here is either going to be two to seven and eight is going to be on the line or it's going to be 8 to 3 and 2 is going to be on the line. Uh, bother. Do I know which way round that goes? I probably do somehow, but my brain is not telling me how to do that. I know the 5... I know the 5 Renban is either accompanied with 3, 4 or with six, seven, don't I? Depending on what I put on the whisper. And this column, 
Well, okay, I do know that those digits are a four six pair because of the monogamous nature of four and six on whispers lines. You can't put them in the middle of the line because they only have one natural partner. So if I was to put the six here, that would have to be surrounded by double one in the same column. So that's not going to work. So this is four six. They have to be part partnering one and nine. Then then we're, we're tasked with putting seven, aren't we? somewhere next um, yeah and what I'm thinking is the seven in this column can only be flanked by the one and the two so given the one is in one of these positions um, the seven will need to be in one of those and the same logic actually applies to three doesn't it three in this column has to be flanked by eight and nine and given the nine is in one of those the three is going to have to be in one of these okay and we get left with a two eight pair in the middle but yeah so what we need here if we can resolve which way this goes that's going to resolve this digit that's going to give us the column and sort us out But, now this is tricky. I don't see how to do this. <laughs> um, hmm. Sorry, sorry if you can see it. I'm, I'm not seeing it. Is it, it's not this, is it? I don't think it's going to be this, but. Do I know approximately what that contains? Maybe I do. That's either going to be six, seven, eight, or two, three, four. <laughs> that seems very, very flexible, doesn't it? Well, well, actually then, what's that line? Yeah, okay, so in, right, here's a, here's a little thought. In this box, there is a five in one of those squares. <laughs> this is so ridiculous, <laughs> because there's no five along that line. So this line, this is bizarre. This has to be anti-factor, I think, because it, it can't be Renban, or this, this box has only two Renbans in, and it can't be Whispers, because it's got a five on it. So this is a blue line. That's weird. So what does a blue line have to not have on it? It's a length. It's a length. It hasn't got a seven on it. That's, that's, that's absolutely gorgeous. So you can't put seven on a length seven anti-factor line. So you have to put seven up here. But the moment you do that, they, this can't be a six, seven pair adjoining the fives. That's a three, four pair, which is curing this digit. So that's six, that's four, that goes with nine, that goes with one. We need to put the seven next because it's going to have to be framed by the one and the two. That becomes eight, that becomes three. And we've done a whole column of the Sudoku. <laughs> this is so, it's so weird. Now, now you can see you can't put two on this Renban line. So two is over here. So these are from one, two, and nine. Oh, look, yeah, okay. And then we know what the middle digit is because we've only got one high digit on this sequence. So that's nine flanked by one and two. Uh, this line, oh, I'm not gonna fill it in. Mark would, Mark would immediately pencil mark this, but I'm not going to. No, 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 no. Uh, there is a six down here. <laughs> there is a one over here. This line, we now know the contents of, that's six, seven, eight. So hang on, what's going on on this line now? These squares are, ah, we're gonna be able to limit the value of that. It's only gonna have a few values because we need to make sure this line adds up to a multiple of seven overall. And we actually know what those squares add up to, don't we? The way to do that quickly is to know that they're 24. Because I know 6, 7 and 8 add up to 21. And I know the box adds up to 45. So these add up to 24. Um, which means... I want to say that that is a 4. Because, hang on. If they add up to 24, but the line including this has to add up to a multiple of 7. Then that can be 4 or 11. And it can't be 11. So that's going to be four. 
That's that's a peculiar deduction as well. This puzzle is fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating and wonderful as well in a sort of strange way. Um, I was about to say something that was nonsense. Right? Oh no, I was about to say something else that was nonsense. Stop thinking nonsense, Simon. What are, I'm going to actually pencil mark these digits, I think. Two, seven, eight, and nine. So do we know what this line is? Uh, that could be whispers. Actually, yes, look at this box. It's got two types of line in it already. So we don't have to concern ourselves with this being any particular type of line. It could easily be Renban, lots of consecutive digits in the options. Now, if it was anti-factor, it couldn't have two or eight on it. So it'd be a seven, nine pair. And that would be a seven, nine, that would be two, eight. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to take out that five pencil mark from there because I don't think that's helping me to see what's going on. Um, no, sorry. Okay, so we check this line. Is there anything that can't be? Um, it, actually, it can't have a four on it, I've just noticed. One, two, three. Yeah, well, that's quite good. All right, I'm going to take take a small win there, which is that that's a six cell line. So if that was a Renban line, and if you, if you imagine you're slicing six consecutive digits from the digits one to nine, um, you're always going to pick up a four. If you start with nine, you'll get down to four, believe me. So there, this is not... Uh, a Renban line, so it's I only got two options left. It's either it's either anti-factor or whispers. Now, if it's whispers, there's going to have to be a two here. Uh, that's going to put five over here in this row because you couldn't put five on the whisper if this was whisper. If this was um the anti-factory thing <laughs> if this was the anti-factory thing what would that mean um it would mean it's a six cell line so it couldn't have two three or six on it right so that would be a two three six line which that's the same as that we had the problem we had here isn't it you can't yeah that's great right this is not an anti-factor line because it anti-factor lines of length six can't contain two three and six Two, three, and six in row four would have to go on this line. And what line? What type of line is this? It's not Renban. Two, three, and six are not consecutive. It's not Whispers. Six, six can only go with one. And it's not Anti-Factor because a length three line cannot have a six on it or a three. So actually, this line is known. It's Whisper, which means that two is up here. So two is not there. Um, so this line is not whisper now. That line is either anti-factor, in which case it's seven nine, or it's Renban, in which case it's got an eight on it. Oh, so, <laughs> so you can't even conclude there's a digit on that for sure. Um, the reason it would have to have an eight in it is any consecutive sequence of two digits will have an odd and an even number. Um, right, so let's come back to this then. So there's definitely a two here for sure and a high number for okay five in this row is now over there so five is here which means this line can't be there yeah, that line is no longer renbanable because five and six are the only two digits between four and seven so you couldn't extend it to be a th to be three cell three consecutive digits long so that one is also yeah, but that's um, okay. That that is it's either it's either oh hang on, this is complicated. Well, it is either anti-factor or whisper. Oh, hang on, it can't be whisper. It's got a five on it. That's what we've just said. Oh, this is weird. Sorry, I'm getting confused now. Is this is everything I've said true? Yeah, I think that's fine. You've got to put five here and then, f yeah, that's fine. So that's got to be anti-factor. 
Now that means this is a th length three line. So, so it can't have three, six or nine on it, which means three, six and nine are over here. But one of those digits is a, is a six, which we said was monogamous and can only partner one. So there must be a one on this whisper and the six can't go in the middle of the line. It can't go there because that this can't be a one. And it can't go in the middle of the line because it would need to have one on both sides. So that, that just is six. That's not six. This is definitely one. These squares are now... Ah, no, I didn't mean to... I don't know what I did then. I didn't mean to do it. I want to just get rid of six. So that's three, nine. And we know the oscillation. So that's nine, that's three. Uh, so that's two. And this square is eight or nine by a process of elimination. Now that means that seven is on this line. Oh, that still doesn't tell us its nature. It could be seven, eight and a valid Renban or seven, nine and a valid anti-factor line. This is bizarre. Right, these squares now are two, five and eight. Now let's check that that's right. Uh, they have to sum up, which they do, don't they? They add up to 15, which is a multiple of three. So that's fine. That's working. Wow. This is very, very brilliant. Um, and we've sort of made a bit of progress. Oh, three here. Three and four in the grid. So four is on that line for what that's worth. Um... Um, hmm. well I can limit this line because that line's got a five on it so this one can't be um, this one can't be whispers so this line which is a length eight line is either the anti-factory thing um, or it's Renban now if this was anti-factor it's an eighth length line so it's not got two four or eight on it so that would make this an eight, if this is anti-factor. Why doesn't that work? Um, I'm not sure. What about if it was Renban then? It's an eight letter, then it couldn't have one or nine on it. So in this column, um, you would have one on it, wouldn't you? So you couldn't have nine, so that would be a nine. Hmm, I don't know. I have a feeling there's a way I can work this out, though. It does feel like there's quite a lot of pressure on this line. One, five. Um, it would have to have one, five, six. It does have to have one, five, six, and seven on it. One, five, six. I'm, I'm sort of trying to battle with the anti-factory thing. I think it's all right for it to be anti-factor. Uh, there's no... F oh, no, hang on, that's it. It's Hang on, this is the same as this. <laughs> this is beautiful. It, it just can't have a four on it again. Four is here, four is here. So it can't be Remban. Ah, oh, that's that's gorgeous. It's gorgeous because it's totally fair, isn't it? It's totally fair, and it's just you know you just have to worry away at it until you spot it. So now, right now, what are we saying? We're saying if it's anti-factor, it hasn't got an eight on it. So the eight in this column is now here, which means this is a seven-nine pair, which means it's not consecutive anymore. So it's not Remban. That is anti-factor yes and seven and nine are not in any way related to two and 16 is a multiple of n which is two for that line okay 
So now we can do this line, which we now know exactly the contents of it. One, six, one, five, six, seven, nine. Those are not nine. These are not seven. Um, and these add up to something. Uh, which is 28, I want to say. Feels right, doesn't it? So that's 28's worth of digits. But the line overall adds up to um, a different number. It adds up to a number that's a multiple of 8 that's now got to be high. If, if these were 1, 2, and 3, which they probably can't be actually, can they? They can't. In fact, the minimum value of those squares is 1, 3, 5 now. Because we can't put on a, on a length 8 anti factor line, you can't put 2 and 4 on the line. So these could be 1, 3, 5, I think, at the lowest. Which is which is nine. So what did I say these added up to? Twenty-eight. So the minimum is thirty-seven, which is not divisible by eight. So we've got to go up to at least forty here. Um, so these add up to twelve or twenty. These these digits. Twelve or twenty. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's a way to do that, is there? I'm not sure. Um, maybe the better way of doing it would be to say what what in the bottom row can't go in these three squares? Because again, it's 2, 4 and 8, isn't it? So 8 has to be over there. Feels like a very weak restriction, to be honest might be more relevant that 2, 4 and 8 have to be in these squares. Uh, I don't know. That's not an... Oh, that digit. I know what that digit is. It's these 2 and 8 in its box. Sorry, that's a 5. Okay, so Sudoku unsurprisingly rears its ugly head. 5 comes out of these squares. So these are now a bit restricted. So these squares are from 1, 4, 6, and 9. There's definitely a 4 in them. And this is the 9 cell line, isn't it? Which is, I feared, was not as nearly as restricted as I thought it once was. Can't have a plethora of odd digits on it in this column. In fact, these can't be 9, I now see. Um, sorry, okay, no, <laughs> it's, it is one of those puzzles where because you've never seen any, or I've never seen anything like this before, I'm very unsure as to what the, you know, I sort of feel maybe that line might be under pressure, but I, I'm, I'm a bit reluctant to move away from columns four, five, and six, where I feel like I know the most information. Let's just take a quick look at this line, just to think about it. Do we know what this line is? Can it be... Can it be... I don't even know which is the one I want to eliminate first. It can be Renban, I think, because 1 and 6 do have 2, 3, 4, 5 between them. So that could be 2, 3, 4, 5. So Renban seems possible. Now, which one next? Anti-factor. If this was anti-factor, it's a length 4 line. So it couldn't have 2, 4 or 8 on it. And there's not enough room in the box for 2, 4 and 8 to go in. So this line is either um, that one, Remban, or Whispers again. Now, Whispers looks difficult because 6 and 9 have disappeared. So you'd have to put 7 and 8 on, on this line. With which means you can't put four on the line because four is monogamous with nine, so this would ha this line would have to be two, three, seven, eight, and the two look would be down there. That doesn't work. I 
Um, that doesn't feel like it works to me. Because what I'm thinking here is that I've got a problem because one isn't available for this line. Yeah, the parity's wrong. The parity's wrong. Um, sorry, I'm jumping about a bit here, but, but the way I think about the line now, because one is not on it, seven becomes monogamous within that little upside-down horseshoed line. Now, if seven is monogamous in the fence sense it can't join with one now, so it can only join with two, where does it go on the line? That's the question. And you can't put the seven in the middle of the line anymore. So seven is at one end of the line. But if seven is at one end of the line and two is here, then this is a two seven pair. But th these, oh, hang on, am I wrong? No, well, that doesn't, oh, well, that doesn't work for a different reason. Seven two doesn't work because I need the seven to be next to the two. And the seven is on one of those squares with the two above it. So that tells us that this line is Renban after which we know and we know what's on it it's two three four five that's the only way which means we know what these squares are so we are we are getting going again now this is grand um as my window rattles these squares are seven and eight of which we can do which we can do eight goes here seven goes here uh seven is on this line now for what that's worth and Now, what does that mean? <laughs> uh, do we know what this line is? Oh, I tell you, I sort of, I know something. It's not whispers anymore, because eight and seven can't go next to each other on whispers. It looks like it wants to be Remban, but we have to think of, think also about the possibility of it being the other thing, anti-factor. Um, it's a length five line, so mm, anti-factor line of length five just doesn't have to have five on it so there's a very little restriction um, if it was anti-factor then this is anti-factor this would have to be either Renban or Whispers to make sure this box contained three different thingies uh, I don't know Hang on, let me think. We know... I don't even know what we know, actually. What do I actually know about this? Or is it Sudoku? Because I've, I've really haven't thought very much about Sudoku. I think I think it's got to, I think it's this line that's what that's where my instinct is to, what my instinct is telling me now this is a length 8 anti factor line so it has not got 2 4 and 8 on it so in this box there is an 8 in one of these squares by sudoku there's also 2s and 4s in these squares i'm actually going to even label that just in case it triggers something in my brain um So eight, seven, six, five, four. I would put two and eight on this line, which would force this not to be a Renban. So if no, okay, but if that is a Renban, I don't have to get different types of line in box seven because I would already have different types of line. Um, if maybe I've got to think about where nine go. Oh yeah, actually that's an interesting thing. Nine is restricted in this box. I hadn't seen that. Nine's on one of in one of two places. Now if that's a nine, does that break this line? No, that's an anti-factor line, so that's fine. That is fine, isn't it? What about, is it sort of Sudoku or something somehow? Oh, I'm really struggling now to actually understand what I'm meant to be doing. 
have we got oh yeah look maybe it's sudoku there's an eight in one of these squares i i've not really thought about sudoku at all <laughs> yesterday it was the solar power normal man <laughs> today it was the garage mending man um i'm sorry i'm just i'm starting these videos at the wrong time and underestimating <laughs> how long they're going to take me um but i've had to step away from my computer um for a few minutes there um, let me just go back and let's have a look at where we were we were up to what am I doing let's go back a bit we were pencil marking eights down there we were pencil marking nines we were pencil marking eights ah oh I'm all flustered now um See, when I come back to my computer, I don't like to just, just sit there and look at the grid for ages. I just get started again, whereas probably I should just take a few minutes to, to remember what on earth I was doing. Um, it looks like we are, we have an opportunity to get this line. No, surely it's this line, isn't it? We've got, this is an anti, this is an anti-factor line where we know most of the digits on it it has got um what what has it got on it it's got 17 up there so it's got 28 down here and it is an eight cell line so it's got to add up to something that m is multipliable by eight and we're at, what do we say we're on 28 um okay so the minimum they could be is one two three so we've got 28 34 so we're looking at 40 which would be adding 12 more on or 20 um because if we make this 48 we've got to make we've got to add 20 on we can't make that add up to 28 right so these squares add up to either 12 or to 20 but we can't put loads of digits on them. We can't, we already can't put four in them, but we can't put twos and eights in them either. So, right. So if, if these do add up to 20, you have to put nine on them because seven, six and five only gets you to 18 and we can't put eight on them. So if this does add up to 20, that is a nine. And then these two squares would add up to 11 not using nine or eight because eight's not allowed on the line or four seven because that's not allowed on the line hang on hang on does this not work at all so we can't put can't put two nine you can't put three eight can't put four seven oh five six ah oh okay sorry then all right so five six might work right but there's only one way this line works with a nine in the corner and that is if well, there's, no, there's, there's, let me put that differently. There's only one way we can make this line add up to a sensible number if that number that we need for those three squares is 20. Now, if it's not 20, if it's only 12, well, if it's only 12, the 9 doesn't go here because these would have to be a 1-2 pair and I'm not allowed to put 2 on the line. So, if we are looking for 12 the 9 would move to there in the box which would do something to that line probably make that ren ban oh no well no that's fine <laughs> five six pair is only if this is a nine um or this adds up so this adds up to 12 now without using nine or eight or two or four so does it have to have one on it is the question yes it does because if it doesn't have one on it if this line doesn't have one on it the minimum we could put on the line would be three five six and that adds up to 14 and that's too many 14 is more than 12 there is a knowledge bomb um so this right so either this line has this line has nine on it or it does have one on it if it has one on it the one is in one of two places and the other two digits ah Good grief. Right, so there's always five and six on this because the other two digits then are adding up to 11 again. But they can't be two nine because we've said the nine's going up there. 
Well, they can't be 2-9 because 2 can't go on the line. They can't be 3-8 because 8's not allowed on the line. They can't be 4-7 because 4's not allowed on the line and it's a 4 in the row. So they're 5-6 again. Right. But, uh, okay, but we've got to be careful here because in that situation, that can be the 5. It can't be the 6. But in that world, if it went 1... One, five, six, maybe. Yeah, let me just double check these options then. So if we're in 20 land, that's nine, that's five, six. If we're in 12 land, one is in one of those two, and five and six are in these. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so that, that gives us, well, it means five and six are on this line down here, which means that's not five or six. That means that... What does that mean? <laughs> that, well, oh, that, yeah, that's beautiful. That's easy as well. Um, this line is not Ren bannable anymore because it would need, it's got eight on it and it's five cells long. So it would have five on it and it can't, it can't, it can't have six on it either. So this line, this line has become um, thingy thing, anti-factor. So this line is anti-factor, five cells long. It's not got five on it. But five's down here, so we don't know about that. Oh, three. Three in this box is now on, on the other line, which I've not thought about yet. Oh, right, and look, this line, it can't be a blue line, or this box would only contain blue. So this is either Renban or, or Whisper. It's one of the two. Uh, now... Well, wow, okay, I've just spotted something absolutely beautiful. Let me just think about this, is that right? Well done, brain, if this is right. Um, oh, hang on, I might have to go, no, I don't want to go downstairs. Ah, no, 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 I've got to, I've got to explain this. I'm explaining this, I'm not going downstairs. Um, Right, here's my thought on this. Yeah, this is definitely right. Right, I'm going to... Right, so... If... My phone's now buzzing. No, it's okay. I can... I, right, I don't have to interrupt again. It's okay. Right, so... Now, 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 now. Here is my thought. If this line is Renban... We know that there's a three on the line. So what digits are not on the line? And the answer is eight and seven. Eight and seven cannot be on this line if it's Renban. But that means in this box, eight and seven have to go on this line. But that now we can't make this divisible by five because I can't put five on here, if you see what I mean. Because, because once, um, if this is Renban, no 8, 7 on this line. So 8, 7 go on this line. That means that I've got four digits approximately placed on this line that add up to 30. So the other digit has to add up to either, has to either be 5 or a 10. Well, 10 isn't a Sudoku digit and 5 can't go on the line. So that's not going to work. And that means this line is green. And if this line is green, then what? That means it it means if well it means if that's a high digit i oh, know that's not right no 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 right we know what this is like. we, well we know we know the polarity of the line i was about to say for this to be uh, a high digit it's got to be a six forgetting there's a six on this line here so that digit is just a low digit it's a green line digit that can't be high and that gives us the polarity of the line so we have to do that and this digit has to be high now, but it's not nine. So that's six, seven or eight. It can't be six in the middle of, because six is too monogamous to possibly go in that cell. And, and these outside cells now can't be four. One of, one of them is a three. Gosh, my pencil marking has gone absolutely doolally here. Um, right, so we can take four out of all of these. One of these two squares is definitely a three by Sudoku. Oh, well, that digit's an eight then. Sorry, yeah, that's obvious. Because one of these is a three, 
3 must be next to 8 or 9 on a whisper, so that's got to be 8, it can't be 7. It doesn't tell us what these digits are. It does tell us where the 8 goes in box 1. Let's do that. Let's pick off the low-hanging fruit. Um, we can probably do something with this line in a minute. Let me just mull this over for a second or two. Um, right, yeah, here you go. We can do something with this line because by my reckoning, four and seven in this box are on this line here. And we need, ooh, yeah, so it only just works actually. I thought, I thought I'd broken the puzzle, but four and seven have to be in these squares by Sudoku. But we know that these squares, these three squares, have to add up to something that is mod fiveable. Um, so what are the options? Well, 15 would work, except that would repeat the four. So it's not 15. So it's got to be nine to get these squares adding up to 20. So these have to be four, seven, nine. And that means things. I don't know what things yet. I'm just trying to work it out. Well, well. Yeah, it means that's a 9 by Sudoku. That's a 7. That's a 4. Here we go. That's no longer a 9. So this is 1, 5, 6. Which means that square is a 7. Now let's, let's tidy up. I've got far too many pencil marks in the grid. I don't like it. Right, so these squares don't include 1. They're a 2, 3 pair. Um... And from that, we can deduce the following. Come on, break. Nine is on that line down there. Three is on that line down here by Sudoku. So, oh no, seven is useless. Um, there's a two eight pair in this box because of this two eight thingy thing here. Two and eight have to go in those squares. So that square is gonna have to be one, five or six. And it's not five. So that square is one or six. Five is in this this little domino here. Four is up here. And I am going to get stuck, aren't I? Seven. I could put seven into box one. Um, which got that does things. Seven and nine go in. 9 has to have a home in box 3 in one of these squares. Um, oh no, I was about to ask where 6 went in column 2. A bad question. Uh, okay, now we might be totally stuck. Can we do... Can we do any jiggery-pokery and get us unstuck here, please? Is it Sudoku? It almost always is. Or is it something else? Is it going to be... Any ideas? I don't know. We might have to start thinking about this line, which is the most terrifying line, I think. Or... Okay, let's do it. Right, what do we know about this line? We do know some of its constituents, actually. It's got two and eight on it, and it's a nine-cell line. So what does that mean? Oh, no, that's not a good thought. Well, oh, it's not right. Hang on, here's a thought. that This is not uh, a German whispers line. Because, look down here, look down this column, 4 and 6 are both occupying these five squares. And, well, actually, no, it's much simpler than I was <laughs> It's much simpler. Than, just look at where 4 goes in the column. 4 is in one of those two squares. Now, 4 is monogamous on the whisper, so 4 has to go next to 9. So if you put the 4 here, well, that can't be a 9. And if you put the four here, that can't be a nine. So there's no, there's no way this is whisper. So this is either anti-factor or Renban. Now, if it's Renban, oh, it's got all the digits on it, hasn't it? So we'd know what these digits are. 
because we know what these digits are. Ah, oh right, so yes, by Sudoku then. If this is Renban, those digits are those digits, which are mainly odd. So these digits would be one, one and six, which would be magical. That would do, that would do divine work in row six. If that was a one six pair, you get four, nine, don't actually know maybe maybe it wouldn't do quite as much as I thought but it would do some things but that's that's if this is Renban this could also be anti-factor and if it's anti-factor nine cell line it can't have three or nine on it so that would be a three nine pair and that would do jolly little so that's worse I think if we get to that answer um Hmm. How do we do that then? How do we resolve it? I don't really like the look of... Do we... Can we do something down here? This... Ah, yes. I can do one thing. I can do one very, very banal thing. This line is not anti-factor because if you look at the structure of the row, whatever's not in there is in here. So this line, this line does have two or eight on it. It's a four cell line. So if it was anti-factor, it couldn't have two or eight on it. So this line is either Renban or uh, thingy thing, um, German whispers. Now, actually, no, that, hang on, that's, but that's great. This has got three and nine on it. So it's not, it's not Renban, that's beautiful. Ah, so it's not this line, it's this line we're meant to look at. So this is now whispered and it's going to alternate yes and three and nine are of opposite polarity so you can't put the three and the nine there so that square is a three or a nine and if it's three that has to be an eight nine pair if that's three that has to be eight nine that's going to be low if that's nine though those would have to be a two three pair nine that's a two three pair and that would have to be that would have to be seven hang on hang on so this digit is a bit restricted i think i just want to think about this i think we can fully pencil mark this line if this is three this is eight nine this has to be low and not three and it can't be one or it can't be two or three so it's one or four that's actually not as good as I hoped. Whereas if this is nine, you can't put one or four on the line. So this becomes a two, three pair. And then this has to be high and it can't be six. So that is seven. So that is a snooker maximum cell. It's one, four, seven. But that hasn't really done anything. <laughs> okay. Um, Goodness me. I suppose mm, I shouldn't be surprised it gets more challenging at the end, though, in a way, because I imagine if you're Star Warigami trying to set this, it must be incredibly difficult to keep up, you know, to cover the whole grid. I mean, imagine even if you if you set it and you missed out all of these cells and you're you're faced with the discrete problem of placing lines somehow within this rectangle such that they're interesting lines for the solver but all resolve uniquely and provide us you know a relatively stable path that, that i mean even that sounds very difficult what do those add up to those add up to those must add up to 24 by the maths that i know all the odd numbers in sudoku add up to 25 so they add up to 24 they add up to 21 um, if this is an anti-factor line, that ha it has to add up to a multiple of nine, doesn't it? Um, ah, so I, I can do the maths on that, actually. And we can check that, because if this is an anti-factor line, it can't have three or nine on it. So that's a three-nine pair. And then, look, we know what's on the line here, which is going to be one 
one five six seven which is 19 so that's 19 and that's what was that I can't remember 20 that was 21 19 and 21 is 40 40 is not right that's it okay so this is not an anti-factor line by maths because the line can't have the right total because it, it should be a multiple of nine and it would be a multiple of eight and that's not right so this line is colorable now that line is not blue it's purple um which means which means that we know yes so now we know that these digits here have to appear on this line because it's a ren band that's nine cells long so those digits are those digits which is right so that's three five seven and nine that's not seven um Oh, come on, that must do something. These square, yeah, these were the one six pair that we talked about earlier. So that's going to be four. That's going to be nine. That's not nine. That's not four. I've got a one six pair here. It just doesn't, doesn't do anything. I can get rid of four from these squares. Four in column one now has to go there. Um, I'll bobbins bobbins face that right whatever that digit is has to be there doesn't it uh, in this row uh, because well not in the, because it's going to knock itself out of all those squares so it's going to have to live here which means there's definitely oh, we already know that it's definitely a two over here bother um <laughs> That's not four, obviously. We've put the four in. Oh, good grief. Come on. <laughs> What's going on now? We could argue about... I don't know. Um, what are these digits? These digits are three, four, five, and six. Oh goodness, there's a big crash from downstairs now. Three, four, five, and six. So they're not six. Is that helpful? Where does hmm, where does two go in this column? That's weird. Why couldn't I see that before? I think two has only got one cell. There. It does doesn't actually do anything, does it? Because it's sort of it was so isolated in its logic, it sort of just sits. I even thought about where six went in that column. How did I not see that two could only go in one place? I don't know. Right, so we're going to have to, I think, investigate. We're going to have to investigate these lines, aren't we? These are somehow going to be resolved. Which one? Which one is more restricted? Um, I haven't got a clue. It could be... The weather is so bad. We're going to go for... Um, let's go for this one. Do we know what this one is? If it is... Uh, well, I'm just thinking, can, can we rule it out from being a whisper? Because if it's a whisper, the six would, if it was a six, that would go with a one. Which I think that's fine. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure how to do this. Um. What could it be? <laughs> Is there some obvious way that we can we can fill this in? It could be that I've not done as much Sudoku as I meant to have done. That's very possible. I don't know actually. Or maybe um, the thing is I've got so little done in this box here. Four is in one of those squares, but that's, I mean, that's not even worth pencil marking. That's such a bad deduction. I'm sorry, I'm just, 
I'm staring at this before I start getting into the weeds here because I, I feel that there could be something, you know, that that's very visualizable. One, two, five, six, eight. These squares are from one, two, five, six, eight. Mark would love the fact I've just made that pencil mark. Does that does that mean anything? We know it's not possible both of these are whispers. Uh, it, must, it, yeah, it could be something like that I've missed the fact that there is just one colour somewhere. Uh, okay, if that's a one, that can't then be Renban because it would be one, two, three. And three is on that line. So, okay, if that's a one, maybe I can rule out that being a one. If that's a one, Renban doesn't work. So what about whispers? Then that would have to be an eight, which is quite interesting. <laughs> Don't, no comments, thank you. One, eight, and then that would be a two, a two exactly. That doesn't work. That's weird. Wow. Okay. If this is a, if this is, so if this is a one, I've disproved, disproved Remban. I've just disproved Whispers because it has to alternate. So, and you can't put six in the middle of double one. So it has to go one, eight. And then this square has to be two, three or four, but it can't be two or three, which makes it four, but four and eight are not five apart. So that doesn't work. So if this is one, this line is anti-factor. And what does that mean? Don't know. <laughs> Probably nothing clever. <laughs> um, if it's one and this is anti-factor, what could we not put on the line then? So this line couldn't have... Ah, that doesn't work. Oh, that's weird. That's This is, this is lovely. This is a weird deduction though. Um, it's a modulus, there's a modulus problem. Because if you think about, um, if you think about uh, the num, I don't know how, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about this in a modulo problem. So let me just show you, if that's a one, uh, one divided by three is zero remainder one. Now, the, these two digits, because of the nature of a three cell anti-factor line it can never have three six or nine on it so we've got to be very careful now with what this digit is um, now that digit can't be six because it's not allowed to be it can't be one so it, it is a two five or an eight now two five and eight the problem with two five or eight here is that that is that has a remainder of two when it's divided by three, so these two digits together have a remainder of zero, or a total of remainder three when divided by three, if you like, which which means they back to zero. So these these are sort of zero mod three, which requires this to be a three six or a nine in order to make this total divisible by three, and that can't be three six or nine because it's on the naughty three cell line, which, which explicitly rules that out. So we've actually ruled out every every possible line. If this is a, a one, you cannot make this line work within the rules of the puzzle. So that's a six, that's a one, which I hope is gonna do absolutely miracle stuff. It might not, but you never know. You never know, that's not six anymore. We do still have to find the nature of this line, uh, but it could be whispers now. Um, and it might be able to be Renban as well, actually. Let me think about this. So this line, it's definitely not, oh, hang on, could it be? Well, it's, de it's definitely not anti-factor now. It's got six on it and it's a three cell line. So we can shade it in. It's one of two colors. And if this was green, if this was green, that would be a one. This would be a high digit that would be exactly equal to seven. It would have to be seven and that would have to be one. Whoa, I don't know how to show this. This would have to go six, one, seven if this is green. Now, why doesn't that work? That would make that a four. 
that would make that a nine. I mean, it would fill in the whole box basically. Um, I don't know why that doesn't work. That might work. Okay, so that's that's if this is whispers. If this is Renban, then one and two can't go on the line. Eight can't go on the line because this would be a six, seven, eight line, and that's going to make that cell impossible. So this has to go six, five, six, five, and that square is four or seven to make a sequence. Well, that's quite good because that gives me a four, seven pair here. So that square is one five or six now i'm not i'm not going to say it can't be one because presumably we can repeat ones on this line assuming it's not a ren ban um not sure right so, so okay so we've we've narrowed this one down a little bit what can this one be well this one can't be ren ban now i can tell you that because that digit's impossible. It couldn't be one, it would repeat on the line, and five or six make that impossible to be a sequence. So this line is either the blue line, the anti-factor line, or it's another green line. But it can't be green, can it? Can it really be green? By, that would be a six. Oh, I don't believe it. Okay, well, it could be a green line, I think. If it's a green line, by polarity, that's got to be a low digit and that's got to be a high digit, which means it has to be six. And that means that has to be one. So six, one, that's got to now be high, but not six. And it could be eight, I think. So one, eight, so one, eight, one, six would go on the line. OK, let's think about it the other way then. If it's anti-factor what would the problem be there so the problem there is that this line then can't contain twos and eights so this would be a one five six triple that adds up to 13 that's not the right number that's only if i've got them i've got the eliminations right in my brain there i'm just going to double check that so if this is if this is if this is anti-factor, it's a four cell line, so it can't have two, four or eight on it. So the only digits, according to my pencil marks that are left, that can go on it are ones, fives and sixes. And then the whole line adds up to 13, which is not right. It needs to be 12 or 16 or something like that. So this is a whispers line, which is not what I was expecting, because now that has to be high polarity. And that's six, that's one, that's eight. This is not eight. Well, now, look, this can't be whispers because the whole box would be whispers. So that's got to be Renban, uh, which means that's five. And that's got to be something. Oh, we don't, don't tell me we don't know. I don't believe it. And this is going to be two. That's going to be eight. Uh, eight gets knocked out of these squares. Please. That six means this is a one, so that's a six, that's a five. Oh, hang on. Oh, look, no, I'm just going to keep doing Sudoku where I see it, because at least I can do that. This is a six, this is an eight. Um, that, that has done it, actually. That's done that bit at the bottom, which is the bit I didn't understand. Right, so that's now got to be, this has got to be a high digit, so that's nine. We get a two, three pair. We've still got the chance of um, a thingy in the corner, actually, here. If we can get rid of a two from that square. I don't know how we do that, but that is an opportunity. That square can't be nine or seven. That square can't be nine. Right, OK, look at that. So that seems to tell me I've got a one nine pair, which is great, actually. So that's got to be a one by Sudoku and that's got to be a nine. So these squares are two, three, four and five. I'm just going to pencil mark them now. <laughs> this square's not four or five. This square's not five. Three. Hang on, what's going on here? This this must be re reducible. So we've got a two, three pair. That's become a nine. 
three five pair, so that's become a seven. And we can take four out of this one. Okay, that's good, but it's not still not done, I don't think. One here means that's six, so that's one. I hope we don't end up with some horrible deadly pattern that means I've broken the puzzle. I'd be so upset. Because this this is just stellar. This puzzle is stellar. It's unbelievably clever. As a piece of construction, it's ludicrous. Um, and actually, it's been a lot of fun to solve. I've got lost in it at least twice. Um, now, what, what are we doing here? Have we, have we finished the puzzle? <laughs> yeah. Oh, the seven is quite useful. That can't go next to three on a whisper. So the two and the three go in. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's three in the corner. That's three in the spotlight. Losing its religion. Um, oh, that's great. That is great. Okay, so now... Okay, now three comes out of these squares. Does that do something? Please. Well, it also does some stuff over here, actually. So five comes out of these squares. That five is doing some work. Six goes out of that square. So that gives me a four and a three and a five and a six. Yes, yes. Four, five. Please. Three, two, two, one, one, five. Wow. Wow. That is ab... Oh, no, I've messed it up. <laughs> what happened there? Oh, it's right at the end, was it? Did I just mess it up? Why did I put one? I didn't mean to do that, so it's just a mistyping. Okay, let's try again. Oh no, I have messed it up. Oh no. Simon. Yeah, look, I've got one and two. I have messed it up. I really have. I'm hoping it's a misprint, but I'm not sure it is now. I don't know what... Hang on, let me just do this again. Two, one, one, five. <laughs> I don't know what to do at the end. <laughs> but forgive me. Solve counter nine in the last month, basically. Well, that's, that's not bad for a puzzle that's two years old. That is absolutely brilliant. Secrets and lines indeed. And the top secret, secret redaction has been revealed. Um, what an incredible idea that is. I mean, if you, if you, if you had, it's, it's another of these examples where even if you have the idea and you think, okay, we could set a puzzle with these constraints, let's have a go. You'd just be like, no, no, it's quite clearly impossible to set a good puzzle that covers an entire grid with ambiguous lines and that's it. And yet, that is exactly what Star Warigami has done. That is some piece of setting. And it's a quite brilliant puzzle. And I've just noticed, look, that for some people that will really annoy them. And I think I've just fixed it. There you go. Wow. Star, Warig Star Warigami, take a bow. A longer video, unsurprising. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments how you got on. I enjoy the comments, especially when they're kind. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.